everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by LittleShaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman, and I am back with the second installment of the Interview with the Narcissist series, and I have with me again Joe. Say hi, Joe. Hey. Last time we did this, we talked about Joe's childhood, and I think today we're going to talk about relationships. And last time it was a sort of a free-form type of a situation where he just told what he felt was relevant, and I think this time we're going to do more of a question and answer period. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's that's cool. Now, I want to warn you that some of these questions are, are going to be challenging. They're probably going to be pretty uncomfortable. Are you okay with that? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, well, once again, thank you for your honesty. Everybody really, really enjoyed the childhood installment of the podcast, and they were looking forward to hearing more and learning more about the situation. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So you're married. Yes. And have you been married for a long time? Uh, Yeah, yeah, long, long time, like 12 years or so. Okay, that's a little surprising. Well, I'm married to a strong woman. She's a strong woman that knows me better than I know myself and knows how to cope and manage with all my crap, so. Would you say you have a good relationship with your wife? No. Why do you say that? Because I constantly piss her off. And then I piss piss her off, she pisses me off, and we piss each other off, and it's pretty toxic. Then why are you still together? Like any toxic drug, you get addicted to it. I'm going to ask you some questions about your relationships, not just your marriage, but just in general relationships with friends, family, past, whatever, and some of them, again, might be kind of challenging, so just bear with me and be as honest as you can, okay? Have you been abusive in your relationships? And by abusive, I mean any type of abuse. Yes. Okay, and what was the reason for that? Well, loss of control, first off. Selfishness, desperation, just to feel at least a little bit of power that I feel I don't have. Low self-esteem, just nothing but selfish reasons. Can you explain a little more about power and control? Well, I don't feel I have any control over my life. There's like, it's a kind of a two-part question, I guess you could say. The real self and the false self. The real self doesn't feel like there's any control, and then there's the false self, which basically just takes control at all costs. Control of what? Or power over what? That's a good way to put this. Just control over the situation at hand, whatever's going on at that moment. Control over not feeling like a victim. And if I gotta victimize somebody else to do that, then I will. So that's also then would be a power issue. Exactly. Because then it's in my hands. Well, what makes you think that you should have power and control over other people, or what makes you think that you deserve that? Well, you walk around and see nothing but people have some type of control. Mothers have control over their kids. In any relationship, there's a dominant and a submissive, which means the dominant has that certain control that the submissive doesn't have. You know, a boss has control over his workers. Somewhere, somewhere, somehow, someone has some type of control in their life normally. And so me, my real self, doesn't feel that. Has no control whatsoever. My wife, she keeps the motor running clean and gets whatever done. I just kind of sit and take up space, I guess you could say. I mean, I do my part as best as I can, but, I mean, I my contributions are probably minimal at best. You see all these people around with power and control, and why shouldn't I have that? So you feel that that's basically owed to you? Is that, would that be? I don't know about owed, but I just want to feel like everybody else. And you feel that other people have power and control over other people, and you are envious of that then? Is it just that you think that's your due? I would go with envy. Do you think that that's reasonable? Yeah, I do. Fair enough. I'm trying to ask questions that I think people would want to know the answers to. Be 
because as you know, so many people who are in a relationship with someone that has your problems, they cannot get answers and it's, they're often not told the truth. So have you ever created flying monkeys against any loved ones? And you know, do you know what flying monkeys, what I mean by that? Why don't you kind of jog me and explain to me, please? Well, for anybody who doesn't know, flying monkeys are sort of like a slang term for when a narcissistic personality will enlist other people to sort of attack you on their behalf. I don't actively do that now. I mean, there's like maybe one or two people every once in a blue moon that I might vent to. If I'm all frenzied up or whatever, and I'm trying to de-escalate by talking to somebody else, trying to vent to that person, but I don't actively say, you need to dog this person, or you need to say this to her on my behalf. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't work like that. I got a problem, I will, I will say. That brings us to, have you ever engaged in smear campaigns against your loved ones? Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, and yes. What is the reason for that? I know this is uncomfortable, but you are doing a good thing. Um, no, I'm good. Just trying to think of a way to put it. Why do I do the smear campaign? Yeah, why would you tell lies and try to turn people against someone that has tried to care about you or tried to be a good part of your life or however you would want to say that? Because in the moment that they piss me off, they f deserve it. And you feel that that's correct? Yeah gonna hurt me I'll hurt you back even more but don't you think if you have to tell lies about someone that maybe that's an indicator that they don't deserve that or that they're not as bad as you're trying to say that they are well the way I see it all I'm doing is just even if the person hasn't done it or it's considered lies as far as I see it they're capable of doing it anyway so I think anybody is capable of anything and the world we live in, you see people slamming each other and jumping on the chance to dog each other all the time. And so I put it past nobody to do that. And you know what? As far as I see it, that's a fair game. Even about your loved ones, you feel that way? Yeah. Loved ones have their own support system that they would be willing to dog me in a heartbeat to if the situation arose. But don't you think that you should have some proof that someone is doing something to you before you retaliate, or is that not... No, man. It, I go with my gut. If it adds up and it makes sense, then... So to you, your feelings are facts. That's all the proof you need, that you feel that that's true and that's good enough for you. Yes. Do you acknowledge or understand that what you are saying about this person is not true? Or does it just fall under the umbrella of what you said that they are capable of it, so it might as well be true? Yeah, that. They're capable of it. Might as well. So to you, it doesn't even really matter that they have not done that because, in your opinion, they could. They might. That's the kind of person they are. They're going to be the kind of person that can hurt me. Forget them. So then you're not worried about anything to do with fairness when you're when you feel hurt or that you need to have vengeance on somebody not if all souls takes over no man gloves are off so what are your thoughts about revenge would you say that that's a large drive in your life or no or maybe that's not the word that you would use well let's just say grew up being conditioned to basically where there's a disagreement or an argument then it becomes insults and then you just one up till the other person quits. That's how I grew up. That's what I know. So it's really just a power struggle for you all the time where you have to win, 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 win. Yep, both inside and out. And so what does it mean if you cannot win this power struggle with this other person, if you don't feel like you can hurt them worse than they hurt you, or does, does that ever even happen? Well, what I perceive is hurting me. Right. I'm, we're just going off your feelings here then I just, that's when I get self-destructive. Really, let's just say, really all the battle is is I'm trying to validate my own real self as far as the lack of self-esteem. What do you mean by that? I don't want to put words in your mouth. You know, I think I'm crap, so I'm going to, basically, if I do something wrong and this person gets pissed off and then they try to say something to me, say something about my character or something like that, then that's validating it, so like, not only is a part of me saying, you're not going to be a victim of this person's words, but there's also the part that 
is being fulfilled and validating that you are the piece of crap you are. 